Hello and welcome. When working on service oriented applications, application which are distributed in in nature, um, application which are kind of written by various teams, various organizations, one problem we all face is called integration. Okay, what do I mean by integration? Let's say I have a Java application, okay, um, running on a Unix platform. I have another application or service which is written in .NET and running on a Windows platform. First problem is how do I communicate with that application? How do I kind of you know exchange data with 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 that that particular application? Many people have kind of you know tried to solve this problem in their own unique ways and and. And, and they are basically kind of reinventing the wheel. Why I say they are re reinventing the wheel? Because this problem has already been solved and solved by you know a, a community of software developers. And all these design patterns, you know, the integration design patterns are also documented, okay? And they are documented under a category called enterprise integration patterns. Also, you know, you probably have heard term EIPs. So what do I mean by enterprise integration patterns or, or EIPs? So EIPs basically are a set of commonly used design patterns that help integrate different enterprise systems in a reliable and, and scalable way. EIPs provide a common language for developers to communicate and solve integration challenges such as messaging, routing, and transformation. Using EIPs can help developers build more robust and, and, and flexible integration solutions that are easier to maintain and, and evolve over time. So all these, these you know, uh, enterprise integration patterns um, are documented or written in a book called Enterprise Integration Patterns. This is one book, you know, which, which I really want everyone to have in, in, their, in their toolbox. If you're a professional software developer okay and and you you are kind of doing system oriented uh, application this is this is a book you you must have in your in in your in your library or in your toolbox because you can always and always refer this this particular book i have given a link in my video description and um, i would highly recommend that you do invest in in this book okay and keep it out there okay and whenever you have you know some sort of integration problem try to refer to this this book you will be surprised that even though this book written by gregor hop and and bobby wolf like you know several years ago i think it's almost 15 or or 18 years like you know since this book was was first published even in today's day and age this book is still very very relevant okay um you pick up any design pattern you you will find the use of that design pattern in your 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 daily problems okay um Second question comes is, let's say like, okay, I, I don't have to reinvent like, you know, or come up with my own design pattern, fine. But what about, you know, when, when I have to kind of, you know, take this design pattern, do I have to write a code to, to implement that or to make use of that design pattern? Answer is no, you don't even have to do that because there are, there are some frameworks or libraries out there, which are you know, supporting or implementing most of the design patterns mentioned in this particular book. There are two two frameworks, you know, which which I like the most. One is like you no know, Spring integration, but my favorite among all 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 the frameworks, etc., is called Apache Camel. Okay, Apache Camel is is very mature framework, um, which which kind of you know supports or implements most of the design patterns um, mentioned in this this particular book so this is a great and 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 you know really um exciting news for for all the java developers that there is a framework which you can literally you know very light frame framework you can download you can start using in in your application straight away um what apache camel has done basically like you know so they have created you know a bunch of categories under those categories they have tried to basically Put these design patterns okay um some of these these categories on a high level are messaging systems you know messaging channels message construction so so under this category you will see like you no know, if you have to construct a message to send to downstream service or to consume from from upstream service how how can you construct you know, construct a message. How can you route a message? You, you you have a category for message routing. 
okay um, message transformation when you have to transform message let's say you consume something okay you have to you have to now transform that message so you can you can you can you can use internally there are <laughs> the design patterns out there um, uh, for 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 this type of transformation transformation as well um, several messaging endpoints yeah last but not least system management what do i mean by system management how can you monitor the health of your your application how can you um, you know um, check the logging you know what sort of design patterns can you implement to have have good logging for example uh, when 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 it comes for like you know system management um so i would highly recommend that one you look at this book second you look at this framework called apache camel if you are following my my channel for some time i have already actually um created a few videos okay um, um using apache camel framework and we have actually um built a few use cases as well you know we have tried to solve some real world real world problems in in our videos so i would i would say like you know if if you are interested in enterprise integration patterns and apache camel please look at some of the videos which i have recorded and in coming days i will be recording more videos um you know and will be trying to will try to cover more design patterns um which are mentioned in in this book um if if you have not subscribed to my channel i would um, um request if please subscribe i i won't spam i i i you know record videos maybe Uh, once a week or or every fortnight so so there won't be you know spamming at all um and uh, it it helps me to see like you know how many people are watching and please um if you're not subscribed at least leave me a comment tell me you know how you finding my my content plus what else would you like to see on my channel um once again thanks for watching um and i really appreciate it i'll hopefully see you in the in the next video thanks